What is your favorite thing about art? What do you love? Um, I was just talking with my son about that, actually. I love the fact that you can have a hundred different people look at the same piece of art and and it means something different to all of them. Nothing right, nothing wrong. Um, it's just interpretation, which I love. You know, no right or wrong. It's it's each, each person's uh, idea of what it is and it means something to them. So I think that's cool. Well, if you had to pick a piece in your home, what would it be? Uh, oh, jeez. A piece that you really know you want. A piece from here or a piece? No, just in general. Just art in general. What would be the piece you would want? I would say the Mona Lisa. I love the Mona Lisa. The, you know, there's just something very deep, very mysterious. She has that little smile on her face, which I... I exactly. You know, you're, you're intrigued by that, and I think that's cool. So. Well, what's going on? I know that you're producing something coming up, so you want to tell us about that real quick? Um, this is our first project, myself and um, my co-writer Brian Beer, we're working with Suzanne on a project called Bruce Brothers. Uh, it's a comedy, kind of a cross between Step Brothers and Dumb and Dumber. Um, so hopefully be filming next year, and uh, like I said, it's our first project, so we're real excited about it. So. She was right around the corner, so you know. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like that, not that far. <laughs> That's what we're hoping. We're hoping. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Do you have a Facebook, a Twitter, a website we can find you? Um, we have a, um, a website called no -man's Land Studios .com. Um Facebook, we don't really have a page. It's a personal page. but. Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for chatting with us, and enjoy the day. Thanks. My name is Cameron Romero. Uh, I'm a producer and director uh, and longtime friend and supporter of Suzanne. Uh, and this is a wonderful event today. So. You know, it's all about art and having a great eye. And you're an artist because we're all artists. So when you look at art, what do you, what do you take away when you look at a great piece? Wow, that's a tricky one. <laughs> um, I, I look at art for how it affects me personally when I'm not looking at it. Um, yeah, I look at art for what's going to stick with me when I walk away. Uh, that's probably yeah, the best answer I could give. Is there a favorite piece of art that you like that resonates with you? Like if you had to get a piece for your home, what would it be? Man, you with the tricky questions. I'll tell you what. Oh man, let me think about that for a second. What would I pick for a piece of art in my home? There's a, a, a hand carving that was in the captain's cabin of a boat called the HMS Discovery and it was carved uh, by Captain James Cook himself uh, in the 1700s to commemorate uh, his last um, journey around the world before uh, his crew mutinied and killed him and then the boat was uh, decommissioned and recommissioned as a survey ship. Uh, so I've seen pictures of it, I know it exists and I think that that would be the piece. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, I could get that. Get the whole seafaring vibe going on. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks. Have a great time. Thanks. What is your favorite style of art? Well, you know, my grandmother was a my grandmother was an artist, and she did a lot of finger painting. And when she passed, um, when she passed, they foreclosed their house and they took all of her possessions, pretty much. And we lost a lot of our artwork. It's actually to date still my favorite art, um, and it kind of because I resonate well with it, and um, you know, it means a lot to me. So, I guess her style was more finger painting, and, and it was it was very beautiful. Did you ever get that stuff back? Uh, we got a couple of pieces back. There's some that are lost. So, I'm a producer director and uh, currently working on three films um, to be distributed in 2014. And uh, we just sold our other feature film called Hangman's Game, which is releasing in South America. Um, we shot Hangman's Game in Bogota, Colombia, which is, uh, I have a company called Zulu Time Media, and we uh, do productions in Los Angeles and in South America, where we have an office in Bogota, and it's always fun shooting over there, and we try to bring more projects over there and um, shoot as much as we can. Well, I guess I know who to come to when I want to go to Bogota, right, to film something. I'm coming to talk to you next. All right, well, thank you so much, and have t fun tonight. Thank you. Thanks.